Okay, hey guys. It's been a long time since I uh really sat down and filmed for you guys like this. Um uh, my life has been crazy busy lately with doctor appointments and we'll get to that in a second. I want to go ahead and talk to you about the room uh mini paintings I decided to do for today's video. I'm really excited. Um, I learned to draw roses last week and I've been drawing roses ever since last week and we'll get on to uh, the bigger drawing in a minute that I have finished and very proud of and we'll show you that in a second. Um, also in today's video there will be story time. Um, yesterday I had a doctor's appointment um, so at Boston and at Mass General and it was crazy I'm not gonna lie. Um, my doctor appointment went well however I'll get to details and everything um, later in the voiceover, but um, let's say that my mom had a bad fall uh, yesterday in the parking garage of Mass General, and that was really scary, and she's fine and everything. She's okay. She's getting better, um, but we went to the ER uh, after the appointment. And she was there during the appointment, so my dad took me to my appointment. But um, she's doing okay. She's doing better. Uh, so thankfully, it was okay. But it was um, pretty crazy yesterday. Um, kind of scary, actually. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that voiceover. And also, we're going to uh, be doing the mini room paintings. Um, I have them aligned art and everything. We're going to go ahead and start watercoloring and um, these three mini room paintings. So I'm really excited how these are coming out so far. Um, how I got this idea, I was like thinking to myself, you know, I've been doing a lot of big projects lately and my next big project coming up uh, for this channel is a dog portrait. So I have that planned out um, for that. I had actually, I can get my sketchbook, <clears throat> got some updates for you guys. Uh, I've been practicing in my sketchbook, uh, but first, uh, before I get to the dog portrait, I had finished my watermelon um, drawing for day six of hyperrealism uh, challenge. Um, I'm not working on these like day by day. I'm working, taking my time and really trying to uh get real as possible but with the challenge i'm taking see, my drawings take around depending how complicated they are it can take around to four seven hours or three days this took around three days and i started on tuesday i believe i did tuesday wednesday thursday so i'm about three days on this draw i'm very proud of it so um, there's that one, but again, I've been practicing dog portraits and learning about dogs and everything. So here's some dog anatomy I was learning, um, more dog ear practice, uh, noses, um, Gabador, but I'm not really happy with this. I think it needs to be a little bit more defined. Um, but the bunch of practice, again, I wasn't very happy with, I can easily go and, um, correct it, but, um, uh, this one I'm very very happy with. Um, hopefully YouTube doesn't, um, cut down on comments again in this video because I'm showing a dog and, uh, but I'm very happy with the fur texture I've been getting and everything. It turned out so well. My, one of my favorite drawings of this year, I think. Um, so yeah, very happy with this. I used the projector for this. So, um, for the drawings, I use the projector I will mention, so that way, um, like, I'm very proud of this one. So, this took around six hours yesterday, four hours maybe, um, depend depending. So, yeah, very proud of this. Um, now, on to the bigger, uh, okay, we're already at four minutes now, um, to the bigger rose drawing I have finished. This took around six hours. I'm very proud of it. And um, this is a, one of the better drawings I have done. Um, you can tell with the hatching that I was trying to cross hatch, but I did like a feather-like uh, texture a little bit to give the highlights a little bit pop here. Um, but I'm very proud of this drawing. This took around six to seven hours again. 
Um, I cross hatched the darkest part of the drawing, like you can tell the shadow um, and everything, but I'm very proud of it. I did finish it and um, it was so much fun to do and I had a blast doing it. Um, so I'm very proud of this drawing and it was one of the first big drawings that was actually successful. I corrected it and procreate um, with the attempt I've done before of the rose drawing. So I did do a video on this one, but I might do videos of bigger portraits or something later down the road. But for now, it's a big success for me of a bigger drawing. Um, so that's why I keep talking about it. So I'm very happy with uh, for that. Um, so I'm very happy with that, very excited. So uh, I'm thinking on Sunday, my friend is coming over and we're going to Michael's and um, I'm hoping to get big canvases so I can study on water and I uh, learn to paint uh, water and everything. So that's coming up. Um, also, I want to have a quick announcement. Um, I do have a Fitbit, so you might see that in a video. Um, I got it for my birthday, so I'm very excited about that. So that's all the life updates um, with everything. I'm going to title this video, Three Tiny Room Painting and Life Updates um, video, something along the lines of that. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I have fun creating it and enjoy the little story time. Um, it was just crazy uh, yesterday, and um, thankfully my mom's okay, and... Uh, she's home now. She didn't have to stay overnight at the hospital, so that was a great thing, and I'm really excited that she's home. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the video. If you're new here to my channel, help me get to 800 subscribers. We're almost there. I'm really excited for that. We'll go ahead and get started painting. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I feel refreshed. Uh, yesterday was over with, and today is a new day, so... Hey, let's get started. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to this part of the video. As always, here are my watercolors. Uh, let's start with update number one, the biggest one. Um, I was just going to go ahead and talk about it and give you guys some updates on my life, even though I haven't been posting recently. Um, I'm trying to post, but it's hard to with doctor appointments that I'm starting to pick up um, since COVID. And uh, I'm just going to give you a life update number one, which is the doctor's appointment I had in Boston. Um, that was pretty scary, actually. I'm okay. I'm fine. Um, however, uh, during that doctor appointment, it was crazy that day that happened last Thursday, this past Thursday. Um, so we went to Boston for that, and we were in the parking garage right before the appointment, and mom, my mom had fell in the parking garage. It was a scary fall. She hit her head against the wall. She fell um, down, and it wasn't just an ordinary fall like you're collapsing or something, but it was pretty scary. Um, she was trying to rush to get to the elevator because the elevator was opening, um, and she thought that my dad and I had got on it already, but, um, yeah, so it was a pretty scary fall. We ended up, after the doctor appointment, waiting with her in the ER, and, uh, it took longer to get home, but, you know, she's fine. She's doing a lot better than she had, but it was pretty scary. So that was the life update number one I wanted to touch up based on. Um, so if you heard me, I pre-filmed this the day after, um, like I filmed this yesterday and, or, well, I filmed it, uh, this video on Friday, so it was the day after that, so I was a little bit shook up after what happened, and I still am a little bit, but I'm getting better, so, um, not that, you know, but she's getting better, so I'm okay, and, you know, I think they're much better now. But yeah, that was a tough day, and not only that, I had to get blood work done, and they took... See, I had the world's smallest veins, and I, you know, when it comes to blood work, I'm okay with the first stick, because I'm used to it and everything, you know, I'm fine, I can do it again and everything. But the second and third attempt for on my right arm, my left arm pretty good, and 
for blood work, but towards my right arm, um, not so much. It's not used to the blood work or anything. And trigger warning, if you're talking about blood work or something, sorry about that, but um, should have had trigger warning ahead of the video. Um, but yeah, so I was very upset and I was not happy they had to book me three times. Um, but it was just a part of it and the doctor appointment I had that day, I'm not going to go into it, it's kind of personal, but, uh, it went, went well, everything looked good, and I was thankful for that. If it weren't for the blood work, everything would be fine, and we could be on our way. But after the doctor appointment, we stopped by to the ER to visit mom and see if she was okay. Um, we just wanted to check out everything out for her, uh, so that we could go home, um, with a good call and, you know, see if everything's okay and everything. So I wanted to touch base on that. I have posted a status on Facebook um, saying that I was happy to be home from a tough day. I mean, that really was a tough day in a very long time that we all had. Um, so we had Chick-fil-A um, that night. So, and on the way home, that milkshake spilled, and I was like, wow, this really is a tough day. So, you know, it's... Not really good to laugh at those kind of things that happen, but you know, even though when we have our toughest moments, um, you know, there's always going to be a good day around the corner, hopefully, and we can lean on that. But everything's fine, everything's back to almost normal for us. Um, so I'm really happy with that. The second life update I have for you guys, we're almost close to 800 subscribers. I want to, um, you know, it would be great to get there, but we can take our time to get there as well. But um, I want to mention that um, I really don't have any bigger news. Uh, Drawing-wise, I've been challenging myself to draw other subjects. Let me talk about what I'm painting here. I'm painting roses now, and I've been trying to uh, learn how to draw roses, challenging myself in other subjects. Let me tell you. It took me several attempts to get my techniques down to draw roses. Roses aren't easy. Um, roses are the most challenging flower to draw, and I kind of found my style to it a little bit, how I want to draw it, but um, I had done, as you saw in the beginning of the video since my birthday, I spent one week of drawing on that specific drawing, and I messed it up. I felt discouraged, and I took a sculpture class, that really helped. So we're gonna go ahead and go on to the outro. Okay, hey guys. As you made it this far to the video, thank you so much for watching. We have done uh, three rose paintings and I am really excited for them. Um, my least favorite of all of them is this one. Um, I can stand to add a little bit more detail. Uh, this was the last uh, painting you saw and then these two right here are my favorite, but really wanted to keep them similar because these are painting series um, for the mini drawings or paintings, as you will. I call them drawings because they're not like on a canvas or anything. So uh, I call these drawings like mini sketches or something like that because they are on paper. And even though they are finished, i uh, very happy with how these turned out. I really like this one. I really like this one too. I wanted the background to be the same. Obviously, if I were to have done a yellow background on this one, it would blend in, into the background. Um, so I went red uh, for this one. Um, so I'm really excited how these turned out. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that in the comments down below, let me know. Um, these are the watercolors I had used for them. I don't know the name of these watercolors, but these are 24 sets. I really love these, and um, these are great. Um, so if you have any other questions or anything like that, thankfully my mom's okay. She's doing better. And uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below and subscribe. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. And it's going to be a fun weekend, hopefully. So um, look out for the dog portrait coming out soon. I'm going to be starting that probably today or tomorrow, uh, depending if I could get my uh nerve up to try it um uh, so i'm really excited for that and i've been prepping as you saw the game video of uh the dog forger so that coming up soon that's my next big project i'm really excited for 
Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Turn the notification bell on so you won't miss a video when I post. I try to post every day, but with my life being busy with doctor's appointments and everything like that, I will try to post when I can. Uh, this summer got really crazy uh, with me, uh, so hopefully my schedule for the fall will be not as crazy. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely day.